stuff. Okay, ready? Grab it and run. Anything happening? Oh, Ramsey, see, you got me, you got me all like paranoid now. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth on the Perro John the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to go to um, a buried treasure, which I've actually had for a little while first. And then we're going to go do a purge. And we're also going to do a couple other things, too. So let's see. I have in the schematics um, enough here to do another uh, rifle and melee. So let's do machine guns with you. And we will do axes with you and we very well could um finish level three of machine guns in this episode and once we do that uh oh wait a second yeah sorry uh yeah we're 77 we'll be at 87 once we read this book and once we hit this then we'll start leveling into level four soldier all right so uh, let's read that and this. Uh, that also got us the uh, level 5 steel axe. And I see no reason why we shouldn't just go ahead and make that. I got all the stuff. Let's do it. All right. Nice. So we get a little axe upgrade. And that should also give us another mod slots too. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it will or not. We'll see. Um, and then we can put the extra axe in here. We no longer need this one, so we can take that down to the trader and sell it. If we take a look now, um, we can see that we are at 52.57 uh, on axes, and we are 87 on machine guns. So we should hit that. Uh, I'm expecting to hit that by the end of this episode, so we can start working on our next level of soldier. Uh, let's see what else. I was attacked by two more Seekers. Uh, almost, almost, you know, within five minutes of me leaving you guys in the last recording, I got attacked by a seeker. And I kid you not, like 10, maybe 15 minutes later, another seeker shows up. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Not even 10 minutes have gone by. I'm not even done repairing. And we have another one. So, yeah, fun times, man. Um, I, I hadn't even finished repairing the damage, you know, on the base before the second one showed up. I was like, what the hell, man? But uh, these encounters are random. I mean, I can be hanging out at the base for an hour or more without anything, and then all of a sudden, you know, I get two Seekers and a big horde, and then a boss event all happening within 30 minutes of each other. So it's it's just, you know, it's kind of the way the mod works, I suppose. Uh, all right, so let's grab this. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. And um, we'll modify. And, yeah, we do still only have four slots, so those are the items. And the next... Uh, axe that we get will be the the modded one, and I'm looking forward to that, as well as, uh, you know, once we get... Well, actually, where, where are we at with the M60? Can we make a blue now? We can. Holy shit. All right, let's make that. Um, I, I should, I think, have all the stuff for this. I've got quite a few gun parts. Uh, no, we're missing a medium-grade handle part. Um... Do we have five normal handle parts? Yes, we do. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the medium grade handle part, and then we'll be able to make ourselves a blue M60. That's nice, man. I didn't even, I, I thought I was still on green. I didn't even know I had already reached blue, but it's all this fighting we've been doing lately. Okay, we'll throw those, uh, or take those things off rather, and we'll put. Uh, uh, we'll put this one in here as our backup, and then this one we can just sell. And how much is that worth? 200 It might behoove us to go ahead and 
Uh, oh shit. Are we stuttering? I think we're stuttering. God damn it. No, we're, we're okay. Okay. It's, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Um, what was I say? Oh, right. Okay. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to make the blue M60 and, um, so let's grab that and then we'll go M60 and boom. And that'll be the last M60 that we'll have until we can then move into the modded firearms, which is, which is going to be great. Uh, okay. And then let's also make a firearm repair kit. Uh, that's pretty cheap. We got all of those parts in, uh, with, with, you know, room to spare. And we're going to have a fourth mod slot on this new weapon. So I think I'm going to put, you know, I'd like, I think I want to try, uh, da, da, da. let's put a scope on there. So when we're doing our longer shots, we can maybe be just a little bit more accurate. I think we'll try the scope out and we'll see how that goes. See, it's, it still seems like it's stuttering here. I mean, it is actually, but you know, is it bad enough? Does it mean there's actually a horde down there? And there could be now. <laughs> One could have showed up right when we came back upstairs. Okay, so right now this is worth 200 if we repair it. Uh, let's see what it's going to be worth. 336. Yeah, I think that was definitely worth it. Okay, we'll put all four of these guys on here. And let's load up with high power. Okay, so a couple, couple things about the high power. Uh, there's been uh, several comments and discussion about uh, the ammunition. And here's, here's what I found out, okay? The high-power ammo does not blow boss heads up. Uh, it, it, it doesn't do it. I don't know if that's because you just can't blow boss heads up at all or if it's just because the high-power ammo itself doesn't do it. But it's still worth having because it only cost me one more lead bullet. It's the same cartridge. It's the same gunpowder. And it does significantly more damage than the normal bullet. So I'm still going to use and make the high power ammo, and that's going to be our normal ammunition, but I'll also carry AP around for, for you know, for boss fights. So that's going to, that's, that's going to be the plan, you know, um, for moving forward with that. Okay. Um, I went out and mined up a bunch of oil shale from these, um, these oil tanks. You know, these tanks that are around here that have the have the shale in them from the oil companies and whatnot. And um, when I went over there, I noticed that that uh, Big Mama and that Marlene boss from our airdrop was still walking down the street. Even after I had logged out of the game and, and was gone for a couple of days and then came back. <laughs> so I ended up killing him. Yep. And as you can see, I used my axe on them. It took me a little while, but uh, we got them killed and got some more points and axes. I am going to really start trying to use my axe some more. I've already mentioned that to you, but I'm going to try and use that some more, you know, just to start leveling it up uh, as well. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Do we have, okay, you're making cement and what are you doing? You're making sand so that I can then make concrete mix. Okay. Um, what else do I need to tell you guys? Let's see here. Uh, I, I did another harvest of the crops. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Um, you can't, I, so I found out in the comments and I had a couple of different people tell me this and I appreciate it. Um, you can use lanterns, but you have to craft the lanterns. See, when I was, what I was trying to do is I was trying to pick one up out in the world and set it back down and it wasn't working. But if I craft the lantern myself, then we can turn it on and the light will work in the garden. So we can do away with all of this business here and just put lanterns. So that is one of my off camera things to do. But, um, you know, we harvested another crop and I planted more yucca. And I'm also going to, you know, we're going to keep growing a little bit of coffee. I planted some potatoes over here because we can now make steak and potatoes with our stove top, our, our tabletop stove. And, you know, we'll probably eventually expand this garden uh, to, to also come over here too. So that is the, the plan for that. Beautiful. All right. Um, we're going to hop over to the trader and sell a couple things and we're going to buy another book. And I already actually bought... Um, let's see here. I, I bought a sexy tea book and a mother load book. So we're going to now, we're going to buy a 69er and we're going to just keep buying these books as we, you know, get, get the money to do it until we've, you know, caught up with our levels. I put, I put three rainwater barrels up here and filled those up so we can, you know, use that to quickly fill our water jars. And I've also made, 
uh, 38 activated charcoal, 125 calcium chloride. I have 12 distilled waters on standby, four coffee, uh, four red tea, and four goldenrod. So we are now finally, uh, for the very first time since I started this <laughs> this purge playthrough, we have our, our liquids completely under control. And it's a good feeling, man. It really is. Okay, so uh, let's head over to the trader, do a couple things. And then we're going to... Uh, Oh, uh, more stuff. I, I'm going to fill this whole area in with blocks just to reinforce it even more. I'll leave, you know, an aisle here, of course, for us to get to the ladder. But the rest of this, we're going to just jam it full of concrete blocks. And I, it is also still, you know, my plan to continue building this out uh, outside, too. Here's something else you guys told me in the comments. You said these no longer work as force field blocks. So that really kind of gimps our little horde base here. Um, what we might do is I might just fill this in, you know, as I, as I get materials and make it a, f uh, make it a four wide situation and then just use it, you know, to fight hordes. Um, uh, we'll have to think about that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind though, too, is now that I can move faster and especially with red tea, we might not even need to do that, man. I can just go out on the road and kill these motherfuckers. <laughs> we'll see though. Uh, some of these hordes are getting really damn big, so... Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's hop on over to the trader. A couple of other things I want to talk about uh, while we're going over there. Uh, one of you mentioned in the comments that I missed a um, a shamway crate in here in the um, mortician's house. Uh, and I did notice that in editing, so I went back and grabbed it, and it had like a water and, you know, cornmeal or something. It wasn't anything real special. And then um, another person commented that... Inside of this um, panic room, in the floor, he said to open that up, and I did, and there was a munitions crate down there. Now it just gave me basic ammo. It wasn't it wasn't anything to write home to mother about, but still, you know, it was a munitions crate. We got the ammo out of it, some nine mils, some seven six twos, you know, the usual, and then I wrenched it and got a few pieces of steel so thanks for letting me know that i never would have <coughs> checked that because um it, you know the grate that was over it was like a thousand hit point grate and most plugs aren't that strong you know most plugs are only a few hundred hit points so i i, I never would have thought there was something under there had you guys not said that so i really appreciate that thank you so much um another person asked me uh in the the comments why i didn't get all of the radiators in the mortician's house i did I went back and got them off camera afterwards. And that brings up another point. Uh, I do get asked sometimes, why didn't you loot that? Or why didn't you take that couch apart or that bed apart? Um, the thing is, is it, it's a prioritization thing, okay? Sometimes if I am in the, <coughs> excuse me, in, in a salvaging or looting mode, I will salvage just about damn near everything. But I'm not always in that mode, you know. Sometimes I'm, you know, we're recording an episode and I want to finish doing whatever the hell is I'm doing so we can get another job done or, you know, whatever the reason happens to be. And in that case, I'm going to be a lot more selective about what I loot and, and salvage. So that's really the short answer to that. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Very good. All right. Let's, uh, do I have ammo to trade you? Uh, one. <laughs> okay. We'll trade one. And then we're going to... Uh, sell a couple things to you. So I, I had all these anvils I was going to sell and I accidentally put them back in, you know, with, with quick stack. Uh, so that's, that's over a thousand coin right there. So let's sell these uh, to him. Um, extra bellows. We're selling the ax and we're selling the M60. And that gets us up to uh, 4176, which is actually enough to buy one of the bigger books. It'll leave us with just about no coin. But, you know, that's not a big deal because that's easy to make. Before we do that, though, I want to see if Rekt has... You're not bringing yeah. counterfeit I want to see if he has any here, vitamins because I only have two vitamins and I want to do another desert trip. money this time? Or are you just he does. here to piss me off? I'm here to piss you off. Okay, I want to buy those from him. Uh, we don't need these. We've got herbal antibiotics. I got like four or five back at the base. And I, uh, do you have any car... Yeah, we'll, we'll buy the cases casings from him, too. Let's, uh, let's see. What are we doing? Um, oh, money. Okay, so yeah, that used up money, so we don't have uh, enough to buy one of the, the more expensive books, but we can buy one of the lesser expensive books. <coughs> so 
Um, let's go ahead and get 69er, right? Because, wait, we don't have 69er yet, right? We don't. Okay, let's buy that. And, and you know, as I mentioned, I believe in the last episode, I'm going to just keep buying these books uh, as we get the money. And, um, you know, I, I and I, I realized I should have been doing that sooner, but, you know, just didn't occur to me. Let's go do a buried treasure. Don't think we need to stop off at the house. So we'll just cruise along and see what happens. Um, now, in vanilla, when you do a buried treasure, not a buried supplies, but a buried treasure, you don't get attacked by Zeke's. But knowing Ramsey, <laughs> we, might, we might get an attack on this, so we'll just, you know, do it, and we'll be prepared to run like hell if something bad shows up. All right, here we go. We'll park the mini bike to the west and give this a try. <clears throat> now, I'm going to actually switch mice. Um, I might, I think I mentioned to you guys the other day that I'm having uh, having some trouble with my wrist and hand and mouse and all the time. I, I know, I'm on the damn computer way too much. So what I did was I, I set up a macro that uh, when I just press the button, you know, then then my guy will just repeatedly, you know, work the, the tool in this case without me having to hold it down just to kind of ease my hand up a little bit. But I assigned that to a different mouse than my kind of like my main mouse. So, you know, bear with me while I'm trying to get all that shit figured out. OK, so let's see um, the way that I do buried treasure quests is I just start in the middle and start digging. Uh, I don't try and do the southeast corner trick or any of that thing anymore i'm not even sure if that really works consistently oh shit um and then um and just watch the circle close in and kind of follow it as it goes okay a little more meat for us another thing i want to tell you uh one or two episodes ago i had mentioned that somebody had told me in the comments that you have a very rare opportunity of finding an epic pistol in a toilet in Rebirth. Ramsey has informed me that that is not true. There is no such thing as a purple epic pistol in a toilet in Rebirth. So whoever told me that was either misinformed or they were trolling me. Uh, I don't even remember who it was that, you know, that told me that. But that is not true, so I just want to set the record straight in case some of you start thinking you might find an epic pistol in the toilet. Now, you can find, you know, non-epic pistols in toilets. Um, uh, I've, I've definitely found an orange, you know, a, a couple of level ones and, and one or two oranges. And I might have even found a yellow one, but I don't know if I, I, if that was in Rebirth or in, you know, normal vanilla. So, yeah, you could definitely find toilet pistols. I've already found several, but not epic, according to what Ramsey told me. So I want to set the record straight on that as well. All right, let's just keep digging here. We'll get ourselves a little extra clay. We can always use that for making bullet casings and bullets and other things that require clay. So it looks like it's kind of maybe moving more this direction. There it is. Okay, let's make sure we can um, eat, get out of here quick. Yeah, we can in case we get attacked. And let's see what we got. What is that? Uh, increased fire rate by 2%. Um, that would actually help with the with the HP ammo because it's also based upon fire rate. We got, oh, we got 3,600 cash. Okay, so we can go buy another book now. And some ammo, some nuggets, temper blade, and some good stuff. Okay, ready? Grab it and run. Anything happening? Oh, Ramsey. See, you got me, you got me all like fucking paranoid now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I guess we don't get chased from normal buried treasures. Well, at least not at this point. <laughs> Maybe it'll change, you know, as we advance. I don't know. All right, let's grab this stump on the way back. And we got a honey. Nice. So, yeah, we'll go buy another book. We don't have enough for, you know, one of the... The more expensive one, so we'll just buy another uh, 2700 book. We'll have to just decide which one 
we want to get. Um, actually, you know, I think I'm probably going to do uh, Sexy T just because I am starting to use my axe more. And so, you know, that's going to really help with, with that. I'm going to stop off here for a second and uh, just put a couple things in the drop chest. Uh, that goes on hands. Okay, let's just equip that. Those will do, um, no, I'm going to actually convert those to HPs, but we'll do that later. And let's go here. Oh, I need to switch back to my other mouse now. And we're really filling up our hands. Oh, oh, even better. Okay, change of plans. Um, we can now make this a, a tier two, so we might as well take all of this shit upstairs. And if we're going to do that, we better close this. All right, let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's um, do a 7-6 here. And we'll convert those over. And then we also want to go here. And good, our cement's done now too. Craft this. And um, then we want to go back to here and to here and to here. And 4% fire rate. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, why are... Uh, oh, I guess I, I must I must be short on a couple of materials, so I'll figure that out later. Okay, let's do this. We want to take this back for another ammo exchange. Uh, what do we have on here? We've got a serrated. Uh, we have... Yeah, I don't think I want to take any of those off the axe. And so, yeah, we'll just put the tempered... Uh, mod in here for now. I have three full auto mods. We don't need three of those. So we'll take that. We don't need three club spikes. We don't need three bunker busters or bipods. I'm keeping two of each and I arguably don't even need to do that, but I'm doing it anyways. Um, we got, still have a decent amount of gunpowder, decent amount of bullet cases, but it looks like I'm going to need to go do some lead farming. So we'll take all that stuff and sell it to Air Trader. Okay, let's, um, did I grab that cement out of here? Uh, oh, I already put it away. Okay, so let's make concrete. We're going to have to grab sand out of here. And we'll get that going, but I have more than that too. That's just part of what we can do. Okay, I think we're ready to head out and go to the trader. Here's another thing. You guys told me that the reason that the um, Seeker got into my base in the last episode was because they could open doors. Okay. But how are you, can you explain to me how like a nine foot motherfucker can, <laughs> can <laughs> crawl through this space though? Um, so two people said, lock the door. And I'm like going, well, duh, yeah, I should lock the door. But guess what? I can't. Watch what happens when I press and hold E. It opens the door. It doesn't bring up the little radio menu that it usually would bring up for you to lock something. Press and hold E. All it does is open and close the door. So I don't know what I don't know what the hell's going on. So if you guys have an answer to that, enlighten me, please. Does it have maybe something to do with not being on multiplayer, maybe? Now that could be it, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. I heard a wolf over there. Oh, yeah. There's a wolf. Yeah, I wonder if that's it, now that I think about it. um, You know, this is a single player, right? So, I don't know if I've ever tried to lock anything in Seven Days to Die in single player, because why would you, right? Hmm. Something to think about. All 
All right, let's do an ammo exchange. Let's sell. Okay, that gives us enough money to buy um, one of the 40, uh, yeah, one of these 4,000 books. Okay, so that being the case, let's think about this for a second. If we... So we could do a parkour. We could do a healing factor or an iron gut. Deep cuts. I don't think deep cuts does us any good unless this applies to axes. It does not say that it applies to axes. It says at the top, deep cuts will hone your skills with swords, machetes, bladed batons, and kniffies. It does not say anything about axes. So based upon that description, I don't think this this will apply. If it did apply to axes, then I would do it because, you know, the extra blood, bleeding and all that. But I don't think it does according to that description. Ramsey, let me know if I'm wrong about that. And if I am wrong about that, then you might want to add axes to that. But I, I don't, I mean, I think this is meant to be for true bladed weapons um, and not axes. You know, knives, swords, that kind of thing. Uh, all right, so that means there isn't really anything else in intelligence other than physician that I would be interested in. I mean, Lucky Looter's nice, but there's more important things than that. Treasure Hunter, that treasure we just did was the very first treasure I have ever done in any either of my Rebirth playthroughs, so they seem to be pretty rare. So I wouldn't waste points on that, at least not unless I had nothing else to spend on, right? Uh, Charisma, we already have, uh, you know, Charismatic Nature book. We're just waiting to hit level two on that. So... Really, um, you know, we're either looking at constitution or dexterity, okay? Um, if we did, okay, what's the first parkour going to give us? Reduce stamina cost of jumping and jump 10% higher. I, I'm very well aware of how useful parkour is. It's just that we need to get to three or four before it's really going to start to shine for us. Um, healing factor level two is going to critical injuries heal 40% faster, 40% slower spread of infection and radiation poisoning, and some more, uh, items that can be used by quick heal. Iron gut, that's going to be longer buffs, less food and water loss, and so forth. They're all good. Um, why don't we, why don't we get started with parkour? Because we're eventually going to level it all the way up to. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Take a look at your inventory, parkour. Oh, oh, that's only a 2700. Oh. Um. Okay. Can we buy two? We, um, no. But we almost can. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just need to raise a little bit more money, and then we'll come back and buy the second parkour book. Because I think we can do two. No, we can do three, actually. Yeah. All right. Because if we can get up to three, then we're then we're good, man. 15% stamina reduction, but 30% higher. I like it. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll work on getting this up to three. Then we'll get this one up to two, this one up to two. Um... And we can do another round of all of these as well, because you can do this for every level. Cool. All right. We're making progress, ladies and gents. We are making progress. It's a beautiful thing. It is time for us to do some more purging. So let's take a look at our map here. Um, as you can see, we've been working the northeast corner here. And it looks like we've got... Okay, we got a couple of zero levels here. We could do those really quick. And I think this is Hogzilla. Oh, there's also one here, too. All right, yeah, let's knock out these three um, tier zeros, and then we'll go do Hogzilla. How's that sound? All right, so this tier zero is this A dot place. I have actually killed a couple of Zeeks over here, but I haven't, like, you know, gone through the whole thing. So it says there's estimated 10 entities. All right. Uh, Nick, you ready to go, buddy? You have anything in your inventory? Oh, who does? <laughs> okay, here. Why don't you take one of those and take the bones, meat, and fat. Okay. 
Zombos? A pile of books. Hey, buddy. Hawaii Five O. He did. Nothing. Uh, all right, let's search the desks. And we will also, that one's not searchable. I will also pick these up along with the computer for selling. We couldn't pick that up anyways. We could have wrenched it, but it's all right. Um, can we pick this light up here? Nope. We can wrench it. Uh, why don't we wrench this? I don't... I, I'm in... I'm in purging mode, though. I'm not actually in salvaging mode, so we're not going to... We're going to spend a ton of time doing this. Um, there's going to be a lot of resources at Hogzilla that will eventually... You know, I'll get most of that off camera, too. There's a zom way over that way. Okay. Um, grab the computer. Because it's a fairly quick grab and it's a pretty valuable item, relatively speaking. But that's not to say I wouldn't, you know, come back here later and get some more stuff. Oh, nice. We found a radiator. Very good. Did we check that? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go. More hydrochloric acid. All right, that is going to be a really long shot for this weapon. Well, we got his attention. He did, I think. Somebody said in the comments that you can get a small engine from a forklift. I haven't seen that happen yet, but that doesn't mean it won't. Let's try it. After we loot these. Don't see a small engine, but we'll keep trying. This kind of makes sense that we would find a small engine in a forklift. Okay. Pretty much all of that kind of stuff anymore we're just going to sell because... We've got uh, quite a bit of it. All right, we could get wood and stuff from there, but again, I don't want to do a bunch of salvaging. I want to do a bunch of purging. Purging and looting. Always happy to take glue. Anything in these concrete culverts? All right, what about all of these here? Nada. Uh, well, nothing inside, but there is... Ooh. Look at what we have here. Hmm. I don't think the mini bike can make that. Well, hello there, fire soldier. Fire soldier in the tier zero POI. You are by yourself, right? I hope. You gonna rebirth? That's so disgusting. <laughs> uh, all right, we got clay, we got signs, we got bricks, and another Zeke. Just making sure he's not gonna rebirth. 
Oh, this is cool, man. This is kind of like a little obstacle course in here. Oh, that's neat. There's little, like, um, backhoes. Kind of got a little bit of stuttering going on there. Okay, uh, it still says there's a four enemies estimated left. Let's check in this truck here. 762s. We'll take them. There's another Jenny. And some gas barrels or drums. All right, let's definitely grab this. Nice. Okay. Let's go up here. And we got an air con up here. Oh. I'm gonna say, what the hell was that noise? Oh. Stay here. Stay with me, Nick. We'll deal with these motherfuckers in a second. Got a small motor from there. Look at us on our bad new blue axe. Oh shit! And no stamina to swing it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, okay. We got friends coming in. Oh shit. Okay. Um, where do we park? Over here. Got a little hot there. And we got infectinated too. Um, did we finish that perch? Nope, we didn't. Okay. One of those zombs is a purge. Is this a boss event or a big giant horde. It's a boss event. Okay, we can we can kill these guys. Let's do this. Let's get over here. Let's put Resume. you. Um, let's take you. Let's take you. Let's take you. And let's kick the shit out of these guys. Okay, we want to kill you. Actually, no, we want to kill... No, not you. We'll kill you later. We got to kill the doc. See, that's kind of nice having that scope on there. Boss, get your big fat ass out of the... Oh, shit, where am I going? <laughs> All right. Gotta get the dock. Die, please! God damn it! Okay, she's dead. Whew. Oh, natural selection. Wonderful. Okay, you know what, Nick? Come here. Halt. Um, actually, yeah, come here. I want to get the other buffer first, and then we'll kill the boss. Uh, or kill the rest of these guys. Actually, I really like the scope on here. Okay, he's down. Good. Off with your head. I'll have Nick help me with the boss once we get the rest of this trash out of here. Now, see, popping the heads on the guys, the armored guys, that's worth it with, you know, with the H, HP ammo. We just can't. Yeah, there goes another head. We just can't do that with the bosses all.
Okay, it's not behaving this time. But he's almost dead anyway. Don't rebirth. Okay, he didn't rebirth. Okay, Nick. Um, where'd you go? Let's put you down and have you help out. Resume. Okay, get his attention. There you go. Nice. Oh, you know what? We need to switch to uh, AP because we can't pop his head. Uh, not that hard. Let's get the blue bags. That's some pretty nice stuff. And then didn't another one drop somewhere? Yeah, over here. Creature boots. And yeah, we'll probably end up selling those. The, uh, Cooling mesh mod will come in handy for the desert, though. All right, let's finish out this purge. And I am aware that I'm infected, but we'll we'll go home and fix that after we finish the purge here. There's one more dude running around. Oh, there he is right there. <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> Love it. Off with his head. Uh, we're not done yet. Where else would they be? Up there, maybe? Hmm. The mini mic might not be able to make it over here, but I sure as hell can. In fact, why don't we uh, take that right now? Uh, all right. Where would the other ones be? We've already been through here. Oh, actually, I guess we haven't been in this particular room. Loot that. Brass, baby. One of them in the shitter. Uh, okay. That is not a working vending machine. We'll pick up the microwave and the refrigerator for selling. Potatoes. More potatoes. Coffee and nothing. Let's check this service truck. All right, let's go ahead and give you all of the genetic blueprints. And you usually pick up <coughs> rotten meat, you pick up hide, you pick up cloth, um, bones maybe? I don't know if he picks up bones, I think he does. And then after that, we'll just give you some fat and I don't want one thing in nitrate and a hammer. Okay. Two more entities. Where in the hell would they be? Hmm. There's a bag with a farmer hat. It's worth 70 coin. Better than kicking the balls. Um, is this 
area over here considered part of this POI? Uh, oh! What the hell? Over here! Oh, yeah! This part is over here. The door is locked. I think I'm actually going to grab the sand because we need it for concrete. We're going to probably have to go up. Uh, and that door's locked too. Wow, it is like really stuttery here. Do we have another horde coming through? Or is it just this POI? Oops. Yeah, this is like seriously stuttery in here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell that. You might not be able to, but take my word for it. Construction site box. Open that. Okay, well, that's... That's a thing. Yeah, that's a big bad horde with some buffers in it. Don't think I'm going to mess with that. So that they must have been in the area. They just hadn't made it all the way over here. That's a lot of Zeeks, man. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to pull them away and then we'll come back and finish this because I want to finish it, man. It's like it's the second time we've been interrupted from finishing a tier zero purge of all places. So I'll meet you guys back here. All right, we're back. There's still one more Zombo around somewhere. Um, let's grab this cement. Already grabbed those. Is that red brick something different than... Nope, it's just small stone. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a bird. It's always a damn buzzard. Well, not always, but... And we're done. Actually, I'm glad we came up here because there's two air cons. Which we will wrench right now. And we were down in there before okay well damn that took a hell of a long time to do but we got a boss kill out of the deal so it doesn't suck would have been kind of nice if we could have gotten another charisma boost instead of a whatever that we got but that's okay I have to check this right oh yeah probably a long time ago you guys told me in the comments that I don't did I mention this already? I don't remember if I did. I've got uh I got beakers in my medicine cabinet. Remember I was <laughs> I was saying the other day that I thought I had a beaker somewhere and I couldn't find it. Well, it was in the medicine cabinet. Right where I put it. 
course, who else would have put it there besides me, right? Uh, for this, let's make 9mm. Yes, I do know that I left the door open downstairs, but Zombos can't get up here. And that gives us 90 casings. That's beautiful. Uh, mods and ammo. Okay. And I'll just deal with the rest of that stuff later. Let's go. Let's go knock out those other two tier zeros real quick. Uh... And then there's one down here. Well, there's one here, too. Let's do this one. This is probably just like a little field. A little wildlife space. Three zombs estimated. All right, you take care of her. And I'll take care of these guys. Okay, so we have this one next. Let's go knock that one out real quick. That's this building here. This is a pretty stout building. Could potentially make a horde base out of it. Not in this series, but if we found it like in our normal rebirth. Shamway. Shit. Since there's 12 zombies in here, that's a lot of zombos. Oh, including one of you. All right, off with your head. Idiot. You are going to stay down, right? Okay. Good. Yeah, you guys are... You guys who recommended uh, the HP ammo, you're... Kind of made a believer out of me. This is some pretty good shit for normal zombs, you know? Uh, or even buffer zombs. It's just not for bosses. Alright, we're probably going to have to go up. And there are some resources here we could come back for. Jailbreakers. Oh! Watching him and make sure he's not going to rebirth. Got a wall safe. You guard me. You guard me, Bubba. There we go. We'll take it. Zeke is underneath the bridge or something. Where is he, Nick? Let's pick up the computers. I don't know if that's 
if that's almost part of this POI or not. Okay, how do we get to this room in here? This way. That door is locked. Not for long. Pick these guys up for selling. Is there anything there? Nope. Just a pile of, of stone. Okay, seven entities left. So how do we... Oh, right here. Let's say, how do we get upstairs? You go up the stairs. That's how you get upstairs. A simple concept. There's a couple zom closets there. And a server. And another computer. All right. Can we do this? Nobody in there. Nobody in there. All right. Oh, hello there. Making sure he's going to stay down. Ooh, look, at, look what's out there, man. Brass. Another computer. This is a fairly substantial POI for a tier zero, um, you know, a remnant type POI. All right, looks like it wants us to go out here and up that way probably. Didn't yeah, we came up that way. Okay. <laughs> Bye Nick. <laughs> Poor Nick. Okay. We're on the roof. Five entities left estimated. Off with your head. Don't rebirth. Oh! Where the fuck did you come from? Nobody rebirthed. Okay, good. Estimated two zombos left. Nick, come here. Chemistry set. Stuff we can wrench. Right. We're unlocking this door with our lock pick. Or should I say our unlock pick? Oh, I guess it wants us to go up that way, though. All right. We'll play. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try that again. Look at that parkour in action, baby.
That's it. Oh, this is the eye candy company. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I don't know if we're going to get, like, a main loot in here, but there might be. It's just a, that it's a... I think it's a remnant. Oh, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I haven't done the eye candy company in, uh, you know, regular vanilla since uh, 1.0 came out. There's In fact, there's several POIs that I still haven't done in vanilla 1.0. All right, let's go back this way. It just goes back down there. We, uh, yeah, we already came through here. Uh, we didn't go up that ladder there, though. Got some medical up here. And a Shamway Foods crate. Can I pick this up? I cannot. So what do we get if we wrench it? Electronics, plastic, and iron. Oh, lordy. All right, I think we're done here. Oh, that was not smart. I just sprained my leg. Just looking to see if there's anything else in here that might be loot worthy. It doesn't look like it. Uh, there's certainly resources we could get, but I think we're done. Um, okay. There's one more tier zero right here. Let's go scope it out. Oh, geez. Box factory. Huh. All right. Uh, I mean, I was just kind of expecting these to be real quick and easy. <laughs> Excuse me, but they're a little more involved than quick and easy. And um, I think we're going to have to do this one another time. Just because uh, it's getting, we're getting kind of long here. All right, ladies and gents, that's going to be it for this episode. And I think I'm going to switch over to normal rebirth and do a few episodes there. Um... And then come back and do a few episodes here. And, and my plan moving forward for the next few weeks is just kind of bounce back and forth between the two. Um, if anybody's wondering what my plan is for the vanilla series, I don't know at this point uh, what I want to do about that. I, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not planning on on ending it for sure, but. I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm having way the hell too much fun in Rebirth to go back and play Vanilla right now. <laughs> so we'll just kind of put that series on hold for for now. I mean, I I wasn't all the way into in the game, but I was pretty damn close, you know. Especially if you saw the the last episode with that that horde base where we just made a shit ton of XP. Um, I would in that vanilla series though I would like to solo some tier fives and maybe even a tier six so if, if if nothing else we should go back to it and at least do that before we you know completely wrap it up so we'll see but you know we you know, rebirth's gonna keep going for for I don't know how long for for a while but we also have other mods coming up too you know like uh, undead legacy 
for example. Um, and some people have wanted me to try Afterlife, and you know, I've played a Ravenhurst playthrough before, and and Darkness Falls. So, you know, we have other options. So aside from, you know, going back to the vanilla series to to do you know a tier five and a tier six. I probably won't be doing any more vanilla uh, for, for quite some time after this because there's just too many fun mods, you know, to play. So that's the tentative plan, but nothing is set in stone. I never say never. We'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens. With that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.